Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's LeJune here. I'm now back at it with a build video. Now, in this build video, we got the melee build for Black Widow. Now, I have to say, Black Widow melee is... It's pretty tough. I can't even lie to you. It is pretty tough. And it's fun to play as, too. If I'm being perfectly honest with you. And the things you can pull off with it, it is so dope. I cannot wait to show y'all what I'm talking about. But look, Black Widow melee is tough. That's all I got to say. But hey, look, I'm going to give y'all five seconds to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. So let's see if we can do it. But hey, look, man. Without further ado, let's get into the build video. Alrighty now, this is my melee build when it comes to Black Widow. Now, I have to say, Black Widow melee is, it's pretty fun. <laughs> I have to be honest, it is really fun. Uh, you know, it just, it's way more fun than range. If I'm being perfectly honest, you know, just moving around, going invisible, doing your, all popping your ultimate, doing the combos, just going around, dashing and dashing, going, it's just fun overall for Black Widow. So, I have to say, eh. If I'm be if I have to be pick one, I would rather pick melee any day. Even though range does way more damage, just melee is just super fun with Black Widow. So I'm gonna go over my gear and just basically show you how everything works. But let me show you my stats first when it comes to Black Widow. I have 182 might, uh, 35 precision, 109 proficiency, 97 result, I'm 97 uh, valor, 100 106 uh, resolve, and 42 resilience. So, I'm pretty, I can say, I can take some damage and also do some damage. So, I'm pretty excited with this one. I really like it. So, for this first one right here, um, I got this one from the Tachyon Rifts. As you know, that's the only way you get Tachyon Surge gear from Tachyon Rifts. Now, I do have Valor and Might on it. Now, I do got Precision on it. You know, even though I don't want it on there, but it's it's really whatever, to be honest. Uh, I do have the same. This is the same one I have back in my... Um, my range build so you know hitting enemies i get tachyon surge as you guys know when you pop your ultimate you basically just do shock damage overall so you know having this one on here is pretty dope now for some odd reason the tachyon surge does not proc when you're when you pop your ultimate you know with the staff so i'm not sure about that one i don't know if that's intended i don't know 100 percent but this is what i rock for this one now I got the proficient buff. Now this is why I got my damage buff, and this is where I apply plasma. As you guys know, uh, Black Widow has built-in shock damage. So if I can, if, when I'm doing this one, I'm doing my uh, pistol shots. I hold it so I can do like the burst shots, and basically apply plasma. And you guys know what plasma. Once you apply plasma to one enemy, it just spreads everywhere. So it's pretty dope. The fact that all I gotta do is just shoot enemies with a pistol, then basically plasma just spreads everywhere. It's pretty dope. And this is where I got my damage buff as well. And uh, you know, I got my proficiency and valor in this one, which is pretty dope. Now for this one, the chest piece, I can 100% say I got this from Elite Villain Sector, you know, with, uh, with um, Taskmaster and Abomination. This is where I got this one from. Now I do have untouchable Jarvis Barrier and I do with a perfect evade, you know, I get a Jarvis Barrier. And you guys know a Black Widow, it's easy to evade and it's really, uh, you know, it's really efficient as well. So having this, having a Jarvis Barrier to proc, you know, doing evades is pretty dope. And I got the lighting, I basically increase the damage, on, increase shock damage with any attack by 20%. And you know, Widow, she does shock damage overall when you pop your ultimate and when you're doing hitting enemies with your batons. So having that 20% increased damage with that one is really, really, really good. So that's where I got that one from. If you guys want to know, Elite Villains like this with uh, Taskmaster and Abomination. So this one right here, the Red Room Coil, this is really good. I will 100% say get this one if you're doing a melee build for, uh, for Black Widow. Please get it. So I get a Spectus Terra. If you guys know, a guaranteed uh, chance of hitting a uh, landed a critical attack when hitting the enemy from behind when invisible. And um, I got Stealth Blitz, basically increased 15 15 percent increased damage when invisible, uh, when invisibility is active. And also I get three percent uh, increase, um, incre three percent increase on a three second increase. Oh my, why can't talk right there on my visibility? So this is really, 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 really good. And um, these two pieces right here, I got this from from opening up chests in the the um, the vaults. You know, opening up all the chests with the DNA keys. As you guys know, these are one of the new um, 
uh, you know, minor artifacts that were added into the game like last year. And I got this one from, um, I think it was either the Mega Hive at the end or I got it just from running content overall, if I'm being honest. Now, for the major artifact that I do run with Black Widow is the ring. Please, please run this on Black Widow. I think it takes like two or two to three orbs to instantly get your invisibility back. And the same thing for your ultimate. I think it takes like four to five um, to get your ultimate back. It is really, really good on Black Widow. And if I'm, I'm able to spam my visibility so much, is the fact that I'm always gonna have a 15% increased damage up every single time. So this is really, really good for Black Widow or the Ring of Nebulon. And when you're fighting an enemy, when you're fighting like a boss, um, switch to the tactic gun or the damage artifact. It depends on what you want to run, but that is really good for the, uh, if you just run it on for a single target, you just run these two right here. Um, if either or, you know, you just pick either one. But we're finna go on to the skills. Now, with the skills, some have changed, some have not. But, you know, as you guys know, I run this one. If you know, if you caught my drift, if you know how good this is, I'm not finna go into it because I think something is wrong with it. I'm not gonna go into it. But just, just, just know, when you go invisible, watch how many heroic orbs drop for you. I'm just saying that. But um, for this one, you know, I just rocked this increased critical attack chance for teammates affected, cloaked by uh, Vows of Shadows by 30%. Now, I don't know if that counts for you. I don't know 100%, but I just run it. And I just run it just because, because I think it does count, but I'm not 100%. So I would say just either run this one or this one. Now for, you know, Widow's Bite, I just run this one, apply shock damage, there's really nothing about it. Just run this one, hold the additional charge. Now for the ultimate, I do have power staff and 35% increased damage for staff attacks while overcharge while power surge's ability is activated. So that's pretty cool, I like it. And uh, for this one, uh, power grid basically extends it by four seconds. So that's pretty cool to have it up all, you know, just a little four seconds, that's, ain't nothing wrong with it. But for mastery, finna get onto it. Now for this one, I do have the overcharge critical. Basically increases the critical attack damage while overcharged by 15%, which is good to have. And I got the takedown charge. Basically I get um, takedowns boost and increase amount intrinsic shadow out energy by 20%. So that's pretty cool to have right there. And I do have the efficient overcharge increases the delay by one second before intrinsic shadow ops energy begins to deplete when not attacking the enemy. So that's pretty dope to have. Um, you know, it's just one second, but you know, there's nothing wrong with it. So for this one, as you already know, if you if you saw my range build, you know exactly how good the hazard grenade is. So I'm telling you this right now. How hazard grenade is really, really, really good. And also as well, I do run the plasma. Cause you know, I already got shock, so why not have plasma? So, you know, that's the positive effect. Cause the one, or both of these are negatives: the cryo and the um, the shock. So those are the ones I run. And this is I run the 15% reload speed, so you know I can reload my pistols faster, so I can get my damage buff and also apply the sass effect with it as well. So I run that one. Now for when I go invisible, I got increased all sass effect damage uh, when invisible by 20% which is really, really good. So that's the one I run for this one. Now, for some odd reason, I don't know how this happened. I'm, I'm being 100% honest with y'all. I don't know how this happened. I really, really don't. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. So yeah, I got basically got all three of these. It's pretty OP, but um, I would say rock this one, rock the, rock probably the extended invisibility because you could go invisible Especially if you're generating orbs like crazy and with the ring of nebula, you can get it back real easily. So you can just have that and as soon as your invisibility about to run out, you could just pop it and you know just go right back into it. So it's pretty dope. And uh, this is the one I have right here. Increase um increase attack chance by 20% for melee attacks while invisible. So that's pretty cool to have right there. Now for utility, I got the takedowns, you know, generate generates heroic orbs, so why not have that one? And for this one, I have increased stun damage by 15%. So, you know, I can just do um, takedowns real easily. And for the last one, I do have melee charge. You know, light and heavy attacks boost heroic energy by 5% for Willow. So that's pretty cool to have right there. So basically, this is all my, when it comes to my melee build for Black Widow. 
Now I'm finna show y'all how much it, how much of fish how like how really good this is and uh, when you're going to get enemies and content. So yeah, we finna get into it. I'm telling y'all, it is something serious. So let's get into it. Alrighty, we finna uh, fight these adaptoids real quick. But um, you see right there, got my Jarvis barrier. But I, I don't, I don't know. It's just. I really feel like Black Widow, when it comes to our melee, it is so good, y'all. Just just walking around, just messing over people. I'm, it's a really, really fun experience. And um, I have to say, I really have been playing way more Black Widow lately. Ever since I got my build that I want with her, I've been playing her a lot. So, I don't know. You already know what we're about to do. We gotta get, her, we gotta get the squad grouped up together. Gotta make sure everybody uh, come close. Then we're gonna pop everything. It seems like they're not trying to get close together. Like, what's good? Oh, you're not touching me. That's ain't close enough. All right, I'm finna drop. And you see right here with the grenade, just throw multiple, multiple of them down, and it eventually proc it. Let me see. I get my damage buff to proc. All right, now watch this. Watch how fast I built these people. And why? Let me go up here. Just show, just show you off how fast I can get my heroic back. Right in, get this. You see all these orbs dropping while I'm invisible? I could easily just pop my ultimate. Go on to my ult, then we go invisible again and just re rinse and repeat. Like, it is very strong, y'all. No cap. You see what I mean? It's just so. You see what I mean with Black Widow Melee, right? It's super, super fun playing with Black Widow Melee. And this is. I don't even got, like, a lot of damage uh, towards it. You know, I'm. I got some defense as well. And I'm doing damage like this. Like, come on now. Is that the only one Black Widow is a W. I'm glad y'all get to see this firsthand on how fun her melee is. Stay but hey, man, look, it's the end of today's video, man. I really hope you guys enjoyed Understood. today's video as I enjoyed making it. Um, if you guys liked it and enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss a video. And always be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. Now, if you guys don't know as well, I do have a Discord. We're going to have everything going over Marvel's Avengers, Gotham Knights, and you know, WandaVision, and even more. So, we got a variety in there. So, if you want to join that, the link is below for the Discord. And also, I want to give a you know, shout out my Twitch. Uh, that's why we'd be live streaming. That's why I live stream at 24 7. So, if you guys want to come out to the streams, it do be Liddy. So, I'll just, you know, just let y'all know the stream. That link is below as well for my Twitch. And also, I want to give a quick shout out to the memberships on the channel. If you want more information about that, the link is below. But I want to give a quick shout out to the elite members and the rookie members. I greatly, greatly appreciate that for y'all being memberships on the channel. I really do appreciate it. But um, yeah, it's Lejunior. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And have a good day. Peace.